That's right, bitches. I'm back. If you're looking for a good looking man you can trust You can reach him on the streets or on your local city bus On the corner the end with info his my feet dollar check An equal opportunity employer he can pay You better bring him by if you really wanna catch his eye And if you wanna swing by you're gonna have a good time trip A lot of you motherfuckers been requesting updates Through my good friend Pink Cup Boy Y'all wanted to know what's been going on in my life ever since that last video I shouldn't get y'all motherfucking back that's my life, not yours. But I guess I'll oblige. I'm still looking for love. And I've been trying. I even went as far as doing Craigslist. And I met this one chick up on there. Fine looking. Well, I didn't know she was fine because she ain't put no pictures up. But she said she was looking for a good looking motherfucker. And I was just that nigga. So I messaged her. I'm up here in such and such. Why don't you come meet me and shit? She said, all right, good. You know, I had to wait for my social security check. And, you know, I told her come on the second. So, you know, when I get my money, I can put in my bank account, pay my bills, do what I need to do. And then I had some money left over to play. So another thing, no social security people think they slick. Trying to put a nigga on disability to my social physical impairment. Nigga, who the fuck you talking to? Physical impairment? Where? Where that physical impairment is? A motherfucking lie. We talked on the phone beforehand. She sounded all right, but you know, voices can be deceiving, so I wasn't really convinced. So I said, uh, let's meet up. I was waiting on the corner for her and shit, because you know I ain't got no car. Got to take the bus around and shit, so I told her to come to me. Well, I did have a car, but they told that shit because people were getting into accidents when they looked at me. You know, because my looks is infectious, so I can see why people get into car accidents, because I'm so motherfucking fine, you know. So she took one good look at me, turned her car alarm back on, got in her car and drove the fuck off. Bitch. What about I want you anyway? Nappy-headed motherfucker. Looking like you got cornrows in the back of your neck. Calm that shit, bitch. I don't want no bitch that ugly anyway. I mean, look at me. I'm too motherfucking fine for that. She was ugly. Ooh, she was fucking ugly. This looking like a motherfucking medical experiment. Look how fucking rat. Looked like you was in the medical lab getting tested on 24, 7 and a half. With a piss break and a crack a snack, you just were all distraught. Had the nerve to try to drive the fuck off like you wasn't ugly. My ugly bitch won't sit up here and try to call me ugly. You must have lost your damn mind. Just straight up looking like an abomination. You should be throwing Bibles at your face. Your face looked like you was in a whole heap of trouble. Got nerve to call me ugly. Bitch, boom. You serious? Looking like a stand-in for that movie Species. And Species too. And they ain't need no monster makeup for you because you came in ready. So I met this one girl. Pretty gorgeous. Only she couldn't cook. And look at me. I like to eat. And you can't cook for me. You ain't worth shit but head. She tried to cook dinner for me the one night. Almost burned down my motherfucking kitchen trying to boil water. But you can't even boil water, correct? The fuck out my kitchen before I throw this pot at your forehead. Yeah, so that's just a little bit of what's been going on with my life. I'm making progress, you know. It's going to take some time, but eventually I'll find that one ride or die chick. Now, don't be going to my boy, Pink Cup Boy, anymore asking for updates. Because it ain't your motherfucking business what I'm doing. Peace.